Welcome back to my channel. My name's Lumeri Rodriguez, if in case you didn't know. Today's topic is going to be about why did I decide to lose weight? What made me get to the point that I needed to lose weight? Well, let me tell you. The military made me lose weight. Well, they didn't obligate me to, but if I wanted to enlist, the time when I went to the Marines office, I weighed 150 pounds. So, they looked, they looked up at the chart and I was at like 9 pounds overweight. I had to be 141 or below. Another thing that made me lose weight was that before I lost my job, obviously, I was a um, culinary instructor or professor. So I used to teach culinary classes. I, I was always in the kitchen. I was always making um, yummy and good food. So I started to eat a lot. And when I first started out as being a teacher, I weighed like 125 pounds, I think. And through the years, well, I ended up at 150. So I gained like 25 pounds. That's how bad that overweight I was that I would walk or I would eat and then walk and I felt like suffocated that I couldn't even like breathe right. So I knew I was overweight. I just didn't want to accept it because everybody told me that, that I looked good the way I was. So I kind of took the word for it but looking at myself now and back, I wouldn't trade the way I feel and look now, really. It was a hard process but... If you look at me now, I'm 100, 130 pounds. So I lost 20 pounds in like approximately 7 months. That being said, how did I start to do this? Because you can't like say I'm going to lose weight and like take everything that you normally would eat away. First I started to eliminate sodas like can sodas, bottle sodas, and when I went to eat at um, fast foods that I occasionally went to some fast foods, um, I just ordered a bottle of water or some juice or something that was healthier than drinking sodas. Second, I took out all of, all of the junk foods like Doritos, chips, um, Lay Sprinkles, everything candy. I'm a huge candy fan. I like to eat gummies and everything, chocolates. Chocolate you can't eat, but try to find it with not that much um, sugar in it. So, eliminate soda, candy, chips, what else? And the other thing is, do not eat fried foods. That's why fast foods are so freaking um, popular, because they're so fast, because they fry your food and ship it out. Like, you go there and they have it already prepped up for you to eat it because fried food lasts longer. So, and that being said, don't eat fast food. And if you do, try to um, and stay on the light side of fast food. If you want to use that um, side. Other than that, your oil. Oils. Substitute oils with oil. Yeah, it's a weird rule, but it actually works because your body needs oil. But start using coconut oil um, and olive oil when you go and uh, make your food. Try to eat at home. The only way you know you're going to eat healthy and you're going to eat clean is at home. No other place. Another thing you have to do is drink a lot of water. Your body is made of like 70 to 90 percent of water so in my case I weigh 130 pounds so I'm supposed to drink half of my weight in ounces that adds up to like 65 ounces of water per day that I should be drinking and if we convert that to bottles of water I only have to drink four 16 ounce bottles of water a day so I take out my four bottles of water in the morning and I go and every time I'm thirsty or I know I need to drink, I'll just go gulp it up and be done with that. Don't wait for your body to tell you it's dehydrated. When your mouth is um, dry and your body is just like feeling it needs water, don't wait for that point. Just drink some water. You're trying to get hungry, you already ate or something, drink water before you eat. 
Drink water also. It helps you to feel more fuller and you'll eat less. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you what would one day of my training or losing weight program would be because I made my own program up. I would wake up in the morning, go to the bathroom, do what I, whatever my body needs to do at that point, then come back to my room, step on the scale with no clothes on, zero, if you want to get that weight accurate, weigh myself. After that, I would grab my log that I have. I got a log um, that I, it's like a diary of fitness, like, I just go ahead here and write my stuff down. And I have all my training plans, I have my weight since I first started to up until now. I have them all written down, like, right here. So have, buy a book, have um, a journal or something that you could um, write everything you do on a daily basis in terms of losing weight and your fitness or your goals or what you want to do with your weight management plan. So after that, I would go and make my protein shake. So my breakfast protein shake would be whey powder. By that time, I, I would use um, almond milk, but recently I changed to using ice cold green tea. It works better and it has less calories. I would use some kind of fruit like um, strawberries because they're not that sweet. Banana makes your shake really, really, really sweet. Also, the, another thing that I use is flaxseed to help the digestion and make you go to the bathroom more easily. And if you have problems in that area, well, it helps very much. And the other thing that I use are chai seeds or chia seeds, whatever you pronounce it, the way you pronounce it. These help you feel fuller. So they go into your stomach and then like, they're like this and they'll expand a little bit more. They're like pump up and they'll help you feel fuller. So after this, I would go and do my work, um, train, run go to the gym, do my workout here at home, That that's what I would normally do. And I already had that planned out. I would write it in my log what I did that day also, so I won't forget. After this, I would eat some protein, veggies, and a little bit of carbs. Try to make your carbs um, whole wheat breads, whole wheat rice, everything whole wheat. Try to buy everything whole wheat and it'll help you better. Because the white rice, white bread, that'll make you feel fuller less. And also it doesn't have that much nutrients as um, the whole foods, the whole grain foods, sorry. And after this, so I had my breakfast. I trained and by this time I've eaten my lunch. Now what do I do for snacks and dinner? Snacks, I normally would eat yogurt with some granola in it or some fruit. Also, I like rice cakes, but here in Puerto Rico where I live, they're like scarce. There are any that you can't even find them. And the only ones I find are the plain ones, but well, stop buying them because I had to go like drive 30 miles to get my freaking um, rice cakes. So I'm doing fine without them. You have various options of protein. So you can eat chicken actually the breast part of the chicken. You can eat tuna, you can eat um, albacore tuna. That's the one that I prefer because it's like more white meat and it tastes better too. And it's very expensive also. But if you're on the cheaper side, just buy um, tuna in, in, not in oil, buy tuna in water. Same thing as albacore, buy it in, in water. En agua. Oh, yeah, that's my Spanish starting to um, kick in because I'm used to speaking Spanish here. So you can eat some pork as well. Just try to buy that white meat of the pork. So the tenderloin. Um, you can also eat red meats, but try to keep that at a minimum of two days a week. And don't eat the same thing throughout the day. If you ate um, red meat at lunch, try to at dinner eat let's say fish. The next day, try to eat chicken and then try to eat red meat. Like, um, 
alternate your meals so you don't get bored of the same thing every day. I normally, well, ate the same thing and got bored of it, but no, it helped, it worked, so. Cravings. What can we do about cravings? Well, I normally would eat fruits. I know fruits are high in fructose and sugars, but it's another way of you eating candy, but without that much calories in them. Another thing that I would like kind of trick myself is that I would buy chocolate protein and drink chocolate protein like it would be a chocolate milkshake. So I could get my chocolate in, I could get some sweet in at the same time. And now I'm going to reveal to you what I buy or what I mostly buy when I go to the grocery store. So here you have number one and number two and maybe number three and four. <laughs> so that's it for this video. If you would like to learn more tips and tricks on how to keep yourself in a healthy state and mind and keep those goals um, on point on check, just write in the description below. Check out healthyplates.com. Check out my Facebook, my Instagram, the, all the descriptions. All the links are going to be in the description below. <laughs> See you guys on, next, on the next video. Bye-bye.